behave. Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video. <coughs> Today we're gonna finish Akiba. Hopefully it won't take long. This dark mist. Something definitely isn't right here. I can feel Soga's presence, albeit faintly. That building is the source of the turmoil these people are going through. The direct cause of their suffering should be within. If we eliminate the source, we eliminate the problem. But we need to hurry. We have to find the man responsible for this dark utopia and strike him down. Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> Not one step farther. Your journey ends here. You're too late anyway. Lord Kagutsuki's glorious plan has already entered its final phase. This town is to become a paradise for us. We're going to have to fight our way through. Goddamn. I've got your back. If you please. <laughs> 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 Okay. Here we go. Uh. Oh my god. Oh, there goes that. Okay. Can't skip. Fuck. This dark mist. I can feel Soga's presence. This. I've got your back. Okay. This will do. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. Now! Let's do it. Forgot how to play this game. Great. If you please. <laughs> 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 Oh, you come on. Oh, 
if you please. Let's go. Give me that. No. No. How was that?
if you please. Been dealt with, but now they're ours. God damn it! Damn! <laughs> <laughs> Winning a fight is all about numbers. Two rebels against all of us at once. We're gonna stomp these little roaches right here and now. <laughs> Are you ready for what's in store? This is what you get for playing hero. Time for a whole new Akiba legend! Incoming! Yeah! Barf! You got one hit KO'd by an idol singer? Ha! Go to hell, demons! Damn, they've got a ringer! Make that two ringers! Cha! Ah! Rin? Toko? Sorry I'm late. Got a little held up cleaning house back at Mogra. But. Toko. How? Ordinary humans shouldn't even be conscious here. <laughs> I, um. I kind of gave up being human. <gasps> oh shit. Toko became my familiar. She performed the blood contract with me just now. Okay. Don't tell me. That was the trick up your sleeve. Well, um... Look, it's not like I did this on a whim, okay? I've been thinking about it for a while now. I've been trying to figure out what I could do to help everyone. <coughs> to save everyone. But to sacrifice your own humanity? That's going a bit too far, don't you think? No, not at all. I mean, if we lose this fight, there won't be anything left to fight for. All the people I know and love here, their happiness will just disappear. And that would be a much worse fate than death as far as I'm concerned. Sis, I made sure before I did it that Toko was completely serious. And, well, what's done is done. The contract's sealed. She and I are bound now. Toko, do you... Whatever the consequences may be, I'm fine with them. Because in the end, no matter what happens, I'll be able to walk the streets of Akiba with you at my side. Besides, okay. not much use being a normal girl in Akiba if there's no Akiba left, right? Toko. Huh? Sis, you're hurt! Uh, yes, that must have happened just now. Up this beautiful leg. It's a national treasure, you know. No one vandalizes art like this and gets away with it. Oh, that's it. I've had enough of this. It's punishment time. The numbers don't lie. We still have the upper hand. Let's get them. I'll handle things here. I'm gonna keep them busy and make sure Sis doesn't get any more hurt than she already is. It's up to you to take Toko and find Big Brother and stop his stupid plan in the name of the Akiba Freedom Fighters. We'll do our best. Be careful, you two. You've got a noble soul, Toko Sagisaka. I'm proud to have you for a familiar. Go kick some ass. I believe in you. Oh man, can I save? Top floor. This must be the place. How the hell did they get this thing up here? 
This must be the source. <sighs> hey, don't worry about me. I've got no regrets. I'm strong enough now to look after everything I love. That's what's most important, right? I've been holding you back this whole time. But not anymore. Now I can finally keep up. We can split the burden. No matter what's ahead for us, sad or happy or horrible, we can share it 50-50, like we always have. That's really why I did this. To be your equal again. Okay. Well, Seb, you're, I'm your senior, so, uh... Dude, you don't have to get all serious like that. You're making me blush. Well, well. I'm impressed you made it this far. And I must say, I'm surprised as well. I was expecting Shizuku and Ren. Good! Be surprised! And call off this miserable excuse for a world domination plan while you're at it! And that's not a request. Do it, or we'll make you do it! An admirable attitude. But I'm afraid you're already too late. This device, you see, ensures the continued survival of the Night Eater clan in perpetuity. Think of it like Noah's Ark. The output still needs some fine tuning, but once we find just the right glorious frequency, all who come to Akihabara will find themselves drained of their energy before they even know what hit them. One gentle tug on each mortal body and all those lifetimes worth of energy will be ours. No! Don't you realize it's going to turn Akiba into a ghost town? Akiba a ghost town? I find that highly unlikely. As the greed and the passion are sucked from the marrow of its people, the town will swell with its majesty. Few will be able to avert their gaze. As opposed to now, huh? Akiba's not enticing enough as it is. No, no. You misunderstand me. I don't seek to destroy what this town represents. Rather, I find it all quite exquisite. Those who wander its streets are filled with a greed so pure and mighty that its power is akin to a monk's religious convictions. That's why this became the nexus for my master plan. No other town in the world could nourish my people so well. Spare me your bad guy spiel. Your noble goals couldn't be any more selfish. There are good people here. You think any of them want you messing with their lives like this? But all I seek to do is gather their surplus energy. Energy they neither use nor need. And provide it to those who need it the most. If you were in my place, would you honestly be content to sit idly by while your entire race is slowly dying? Of course not, but that's not what I'm saying. Here, I'll make it really clear for you. Listen closely, okay? Don't cause problems for other people! Seriously, we learned that in freaking elementary school. I can see I'm not getting through to you. No, no. What about you, boy? For what reason do you fight? Why have you gotten yourself mixed up in this absurd, foolish war? You have no chance of winning. Oh, and what would that be? Yes, I'm gonna say her. And you would do anything for that, even if it means condemning my people to death? Is that truly what you feel deep down? I suspect there may be a few chinks in your armor, little boy. Yeah, maybe he has a few doubts, but that's what I'm here for, to put those doubts to bed. You're not alone here. You don't have to take this all in yourself. I'm right here, by your side. Sadly for you, it seems he took your little speech to heart. 
So I suppose I have no choice left but to eliminate you both. The last pesky vermin in the way of my dark utopia. I'd say thank you. Which will it be, I wonder? The strength of your will or the strength of my destiny? Let us put them both to the test. Let's take them down. Perhaps I underestimated how quickly you've grown. Very well, then. If this is to be the trial my people must overcome, then by my hand it shall be overcome. Ha! How does he still have that much power? This isn't good. Hurting him just made him stronger. How does that even work? I don't know if we can win this! Yeah, you're right. We've been together our whole lives. All right, let's tap out whatever reserves we've got left and beat his ass with friendship. I'm Toko the Ever-Living, confident to the end. But thanks for giving me the push I needed to remember that. Now come on, let's beat the baddie! Let's take him down! Hey. Are you serious? That Here we go. Here we go. Hit <laughs> 
Can you fucking... Got it. last hope to be extinguished by the familiars of two night eaters such an ironic conclusion our future the bright future i saw for us will never come to pass why not it still could there has to be another way to save your people without resorting to this to save both our peoples uh. Yeah, that's exactly right. You could have learned a lot from Shizuku and Rin. They've had the right idea all along. I see. <sighs> but this world is nowhere near as simple as you make it out to be. One cannot always trust others with all one's heart nor put faith in the words of a stranger. Man can only depend on himself. That's not true. The world may be nuts, but as long as we go into it with ideals in our hearts and work toward making those ideals a reality, anything is possible. It's a hell of a lot better than just assuming it won't work and coming up with some evil scheme to get results, at the very least. <laughs> you too are so very pure, just like the atmosphere of this town. I suppose this will be our last meeting 
Farewell, children of Akihabara. Ah, uh, Soga. It's over, huh? Oh, how are you feeling? So this machine really is what was causing it. Stirring up the synthester blood inside you was pretty much just bad news all around, I guess. Oh, I'm just fine. I mean, now that it's over, it almost doesn't feel real. I'm like in the clouds right now. But I'm just going to chalk that up to being high on, I don't know, heroism or something. We really did save everybody, huh? We saved Akiba. Like, all of it. Yeah. Yeah! We actually won! People on the streets are going to be smiling again. I can hardly believe it. It's like a dream. Like a beautiful... Wonderful dream! Hard to believe it's been a whole week since that dark utopia mess. Time passed so quickly! But doesn't it strike you as kind of weird? I mean... We're talking about this huge incident with all these people involved, but the news has already just forgotten about it. Like, there hasn't been a peep lately. Well, to be fair, they can only repeat cause still unknown so many times, can't they? Beyond that, it seems no one has anything left to say. Not even Daishihan Pharmaceuticals? You'd think they'd be taking some heat for this, at least. <laughs> Maybe they are, but that's not my problem anymore now, is it? Eh, don't matter none to me anyway. Everything's wrapped up and back to normal, and that's good enough in my book. Don't seem like nobody died in the whole Synthester hullabaloo, neither. At least, I ain't heard about it if anybody did. Tons of people hospitalized after getting their energy sucked out, though. Supposedly, all the Synthesters who burned up in the sun turned back into humans and were found collapsed on the street, believe it or not. They're in tremendous pain and have to go through rehabilitation before they can rejoin society at large, but, well, that's the price you pay, I suppose. As long as Protector is good, that's all that matters. So everything's more or less okay in Akiba. But what about you Night Eaters? Our people used to be worshipped as Earth deities, feeding off the piety of our loyal subjects. But these days, the nights have grown a bit less dark, and nature has become a bit less threatening. Our hearts used to beat to the people's prayers, but now those prayers are silent, and our powers fade. Is it that lack of piety that's keeping you from having children? Is there just not enough life energy for the task? Is that why you're dying out? Soga thought he could take the desires of Akiba's people and harness them into a new kind of piety to replace what we had before. And he was doing it for us, all of the Night Eaters, myself and Rin as well. He was doing it to give us a future. <laughs> to give your whole race a future. I think I would have gone to those extremes for my brother too, if I had to. Because if anything ever happened to him, it would be troubling. Very troubling indeed. But since his dark utopia plan failed, doesn't that mean you guys are back to square one? I don't intend to give up on my people. Somewhere out there. I know there's a better way to build a new future. One that will have plenty of room in it for us Night Eaters. Just as you all made room in your hearts for us. Aww. Yeah, Sis is right on the money. You guys have been great. Well, it's easy to be great with you two. I can't imagine any reason we wouldn't accept you into our hearts. Thank you all for everything. 
I can't believe you're really going. I never know what to say in situations like this. If you should ever have any trouble, please don't hesitate to contact us. We'll be here for you. Let's watch Strip Prism SDX next time! I'll leave the upstairs room just the way it is, in case you ever want to come back. Oh, sis, you know I'm not great with goodbyes. But I'll come visit for the Obon Festival, and for New Year's. We'll see you off here, but he is going to carry your bags to the station for you. You can work him to the bone if you have to. He is your familiar after all. Thank you again, everyone. The days I spent here with you will always be at the forefront of my memories. I promise, I'll never forget any of you. I truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Farewell. <sighs> She's really gone. I wish she would have stayed in Akiba with you, Rin. Well, we can't exactly avoid our home village forever, especially with Big Brother gone. It just wouldn't be right. Besides which, Sis is going to be taking his place as chief. Oh, so I guess the future of the Night Eaters really does rest on her shoulders then. I offered to go back with her, but she told me not to. She even decided to leave her minion behind. Talk about self-restraint, right? So, what are your plans now, Rin? Well, I'm staying in Akiba, at least for a little while. That's the official home of the great pop artist Rin, after all. So does that mean I should be the great pop artist Rin's manager? Huh? Why would it? Well, I'm your familiar, aren't I? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's not in a familiar's job description. Besides, if I have any problems or grunt work, I've got him for that. Hmm? I could have sworn I heard a minion mumbling just now. Whatever. Incidentally, Togo, just because you're my familiar doesn't make you a minion. So don't think you have to act like one. Neither of us is the master here, or the servant. In fact, I actually really respect what you did. You threw away your humanity to save this town. That shows some real dedication. <laughs> no. I think I was pretty much running on autopilot. There was so much going on that I just did what I did without thinking. Selflessly trudging onward through the Valley of Thorns, never balking at the pain, just to protect someone who's dear to you. You two have that in common, don't you think? Shush! I'm heaping praise on you, all wrapped up and candy-boated. Just take it and be grateful I'm not scolding you again. <laughs> I... I think you mean candy-coated. Cotty rubbing off on you or something? Uh, never mind. My point is, you don't have to worry about me. It's your life, and wherever it takes you, I'll support you all the way. Though, if I ever do end up needing your power again, I might call on you as my familiar to loan me some of that surplus bravery you've got. No problem. Call on me anytime you like. I'll be ready. This is goodbye for now, then. Best wishes. I hope to see you on the road sometime. So Rin's gone too, huh? I guess we should go back to Mogra and talk about what to do from here on out with everybody. We went through a lot to protect this town. And I'd really like to keep working toward making it an even better place. Is that it? Uh, changing for next time. Oh, shit. Nice.
So that's it. We have been occupied. It took a while, but we got there. And I. Final battle, final battle. I gotta start from the beginning, but yeah, that was Akiba Strip. I may do another playthrough, but I'm not sure if I'll upload it. But yeah, I hope you like Akiba Strip, and I'll see you guys later.